Evening, how are we doing? 20 past 5, it's upside down, but never mind, I know what time it is. Tuesday night, had a shit day at work. First cup of coffee, that's my second cup of coffee since half six this morning. That's a bad day. Got a face full of hair, so I'm having coffee and the hair's going. Uh, it's almost Easter, spring, so summer soap, Wickham, 1912, English Rose. Normal vegetable Wickham soap base, ingredients are there. If you like flowery scents, this is pink rose, red rose, geranium. And the top notes grass wood and spice it's a nice light scent so that's the salt razor gillette five hundred HD rocket five hundred HD this model of razor is what my father taught me to shave with. Not this razor, because so unfortunately that was disposed of by my brother when my father passed. But this was the first vintage razor I bought when I started wet shaving. Had to be done really. And in this razor we are using a super iridium on its first shave. Brand new. Pulse silhouette, so as per most super speeds and Gillette TTOs, turn the knob at the bottom, the doors tighten down, and there's a, a small turn. There's never any issues with blade gap or blade alignment on these, they just they are so well engineered, they just work. So that's soap, razor blade, brush, might come in useful. It's been soaking for a wee while, it's a uh, Richmond Shaving F1 Innovator 24mm badge or which actually hasn't retained that much water so I'll do a flash boredom impersonation brush, soap, soap, brush I'll spit a lot of the outside today and I thought, I came home and I thought, right, here's a shave. And it's still not warm. Really cold wind. And I uh, thought, I'm off. I use a beer rum. Quite fancy the beer rum. Something with a bit of spice and a bit of vigour to it. I opened the drawer and saw this and I thought, nah. Let's go with something flowery. I haven't used a Wickham soap for a while. So we've got a pretty good load on the brush, which appears to be losing hairs again. I didn't blame the soap, it went straight into the dry cook. This lot little painted on. Like most Darren soap from Wickham, this isn't in your face punching you. It's a complex scent, it has a few layers. It's subtle and it's just the right level. If you haven't tried a Wickham soap, and you're not totally anti towel, i.e., I only ever, only ever use towel soaps.
do so a favour and look, consider picking one up. It has some really good sense. People have been asked a few times, I've just got 12 Wickham soaps. Yes, I do like them. Just a few times, what's your favourite scent? And I can't really say, I like Club Cola, I like Pam of Arwood. I like Classic 24, I like Cashmere, Magnum, Wood Wood. If I didn't like the scent, I wouldn't keep the soap. I wasn't keen on this one when I first got it and I haven't used it that much. This is probably the third or fourth shave with it. But if you like your rose scents and soaps. Yeah, it's good. So, quick clean the lips. And I've got rose and coffee as it's dribbling down my cheek. So, Jet Rocket HD 500, 1953, with a pole As with most of the super speeds, the rockets, or the old finished gillettes, there is a little bit of blade overhang on the tabs to watch out for. Well considering this razor is 14 years older than me, this still works as it was designed to. Unlike the user who is slowly getting more creaky as the years, months progress. So how's your week going? Today's my hump day. Four day a week, this week and next week. Thanks to our good friend Jesus Christ getting nude on the cross. Hey, two days off. Thank you very much. I'm not a religious person, but thanks for the holiday. As you can tell, I haven't shaved the head in the last way while. And there was a thing called the Masters on over the weekend. So I was faced with a very stark choice of backside on the couch watching the golf or come up and shave. Well, the golf won. Woods did very well. To win again after so long. Old, old target. However, I would have liked to see more Larry win it.
It's only one pass you go work with that. Quite easily. This brush was really good for first couple of uses. I've hardly lost a hair. Obviously it shaved since then with it. Half a dozen, if not more, every shave. It's that sequel shit on the floor. Big power, that big. Okay, second pass. This is the area around the lobes and you've got to watch out for the overhang. Because it will bite. Yep. So before I start recording tonight, I watched uh, Mad Swede, it's called Johan. 
He had his chop route in Miami next to a swimming pool. But he's asking for trouble. Doesn't he know they carry guns over there? Swede with his chop route next to a swimming pool. He's just asking for trouble. In case you haven't seen any of your hands videos, his channel is called Shave and Butcher. He suffers from Parkinson's, but he uses a straight razor with great aplomb. He's also a good sense of humour. I'll put a link below to his channel. If you haven't seen him, swing by, say hello, he's worth a follow. He's on holiday, he's actually from Sweden, but he's on holiday in the States at the moment. Have the brush washed out, washed out with two more hairs out of it. Right, pickups. You could. I've done this fairly often. It's a, a method. Take this about the brush. Whack it on your hand. Rub it around your face, right there, still feels rough. As you can hear, it was, still was rough. Didn't feel that rough. Bruise my axe rough there, that is my against the going that way. Straight across there is my against the grain shave. I've got a little starfish just there, grows in every direction you can imagine. I've got hair coming down, hair going up and hair going up and hair going that way. And it's just, it's a pain in the backside to get smooth. Okay, that's the shave done. Drains are old tonight. So at this point I'm going to clean the brush out, clean off the razor, sort any st stuff out I've forgotten, because I invariably do. However tonight we're good to go, so
That's the one part done. Chilly Scottish water. So when I finish shaving, I don't rub the skin, I just blossed it, you just drag the blade over your skin, pulling it in various directions. If you start rubbing it, you can just cause more aggravation, just blot it. Works for me, that's what I do. If you have sensitive skin, that work for you. No which hazel flight, I'm gonna go straight to Gouvre or the toilet in Paris. But be careful with this stuff because it stains. I always put the bottle in the sink. Well, even if you use a lot of it, that's mixed in with. That's 50-50 with uh, Alcalado or Glacial. No, with Floyd. Just for a bit of cooling, sleep. Yeah. Flowers and menthol. <coughs> and uh, yeah, the menthol worked. That was some Floyda. Put some extra crystals into your last summer when it was really hot. I mixed it 50 50. That worked. Oh, right. I'm going to put some moisture back in. I'm staying with a flowered theme. We're still going for Polynesian Money Radiant Soil. This is from the body shop. It's flower, flowery, and light. Uh, you don't need much of it. Similar to argan oil. Seven drops. So it was wasn't the fastest dropper in the world. Seizing the uh, menthol a bit, which has got straight to the eyes. Okay, quick recap of what we've used tonight. The brush, Richmond Shaving F1 Innovator, Finest Badger. It's okay. Twice the price of that, that's better. The hype train on social media doesn't always work. Just putting that one out there. So that was the brush. The soap. Wickham, 1912 English rose. Pink rose, red rose, geranium, grass, wood and spice. A nice summer scent, really flowery, hits the notes for, if you like, rose scents, 
top notch. If you haven't tried a Wickham soap, I'd urge you to do so. The weapon of choice for today, the Razor, was a Gillette Rocket HD500 from 1953, in which there was a Paul Silver Super Iridium on its first use. We've folded up, we've polished off with warm water, cold water, Goudre or Celeste, which is mixed with Floyd. And Polynesian, Polynesian radiance oil from the body shop for more flowers and lightness. That's it. Uh, so yeah, it's my hump day shave done. Two days down, two days to go. Four day weekend. Mm, looking forward to that. Any comments? Leave them below. Don't forget to hop over and give Johan a, a, a look and a follow. Good lad. And uh, I'll see you sometime in the future. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.